gold and silver traded with modest bearish bias throughout the day and both have specifically struggled to break below the support levels we have seen gold struggling at 264042 the critical support zone while silver has also failed to stay below 3140 the most important support here what to expect now with the us session and with with the data coming in before the us session can we expect further down move or there is a possibility of a rise what is going to be our strategy in order to profit trading gold and silver we are going to see with the help of charts and indicators this is the second update for the day and this is the only channel to give you two updates a day with detail analysis proper reasoning and detailed review for where to enter where to exit and how to profit trading gold and silver thus subscribe to the channel press the bell icon like share and comment join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort let's start first to we'll look into gold followed with silver watch till the end if you look at the hourly charts for gold you can find out it is almost formed a double bottom 264042 zone yesterday 264042 zone today and on the upside the resistances are also intact at 266466 so yes it is trying to stay in the box let it come out of this box that will confirm the direction it wants to take any drop below 2640 should be a good indication that we are looking forward to a greater down move here while any move or a breakout beyond 266466 should be a confirmation of further rise right now if you look at the formation here a bigger drop is seen see a bigger red candle single red candle then couple of consolidation candles and now even if it trades below 2644 you can take a selling entry expect it to move towards 2640 first now 2640 is very very good support below 2640 is where we are going to see maximum resistance here on the or maximum uh, bearishness here on the downside if you look at the uh, moving averages on the hourly charts have again crossed over and this are again trading bearish trading with divergence now this is the zone this is going to be the first resistance if you look at the stock ics this is almost at bottom the macd is also traded bearish and the rsi is also running flat here while uh, on the two the convergence in the moving average definitely is a sign of bearishness while we can see a greater slide here and uh, just let it come out of this box which will confirm the direction here if you look at the formation one bounce back candle or one reversal candle is seen but i can say that the current candle has also started on a flat note and does it can deliver lower lows here be watchful of this and if you look at the stock i think this is come towards the bottom see indicators are suggestive of slight bearishness though we can see that the indicators have already uh, are trading at a lower levels so you can see this is almost at zero line but this does not mean that it cannot drop further rsi is also dropped here and on the 3 hour on the 3 hour charts look at this a flag formation is there where are the lower low see the highs of this channel are towards 2660 while the lows of the channel are far below towards 2630 and if 2630 is taken today we are looking forward to a greater down move which is going to take it towards 2624 26 20 levels as the next target and below this 26 if it breaks breaks 26 14 15 we can just wait for 2600 which is going to be there very very soon yes uh, though the stock icic has dropped the macd is also traded bearish and the rsi is also trading bearish here coming to four look at the four hour charts here see first of all increasing bearishness and also symmetrical movement here the rise the retracement it has erased all the gains with these three candles and now waiting for it to take a direction the direction it takes this time is going to remain uh, there for a while and if you look at the near term move what has happened here look at the formation the drop a v shaped recovery again coming to the zone now it is again waiting for it to move towards the lower lows here possibility exists that we may see a down move is staying below 2640 is where the bears are waiting stock icic has dropped macd has crossed over for the sell and the rsi has dropped here coming if you look at daily charts here see what has happened look at this flat top here the levels are certainly important what has happened since then and see last two candles you have seen almost a double bottom now same levels have achieved now and these are providing a greater support level here so once it breaks below 2640 is where we can see slight bearishness 2636 and 2630 level will appear and then you can look forward to 26 24 26 once these three levels are taken we are looking forward to a greater correction then uh, the possibility of a move towards this zone 26 14 16 will be very 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 high and see it is trading with divergence from the 20 period moving average it has to converge some point of time very very soon only thing is it has waited for the 20 period to climb up and see now the divergence in the moving average is also very very high so possibility exists that it can breach this and keep moving towards 50 period as well let's see uh, 
for the day at least there are going to be greater support levels very very nearby here before we move further and look further into indicators if you want to learn this art of trading join my mentorship badge and if you just want to trade as per the signals be a part of my signals channel on telegram connect with me write an email or ping me over telegram for your queries related to the services and those who had asked me to recommend a broker you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description yes it offers you a swap free account with lowest spreads and no hidden charges global presence easier transactions easier withdrawals and a safer environment for you to trade if you join through the link you'll get the lowest spreads now look at the daily see looking at the charts you have seen almost identically symmetrical candle here and uh, yesterday's complete move is again replicated now waiting for a breakout as and remember this fact as long as the price is stays between this box you should not be trading it as either bearish or now considering the charts you can buy here at 26.50 52 zone but this is very very risky as long as uh, 26.55 56 first resistance see the next resistance zone is also very very nearby towards 26.58 60 and if these levels are taken then also the near next is also nearby to, towards 26.64 66 so it has to break uh, rather let me include this zone 26.56 to 26.60 a very very good resistance zone then 26 64 the second resistance zone if these two levels are taken then only you should say that now gold is reversing and we can look forward to a greater up move here which is going to take the prices towards 26 74 uh, 76 or the 26 85 as well so take your positions accordingly on the downside sell at 26 40 levels below 26 40 we can look forward to 26 35 36 26 30 32 26 24 25 and if these three levels are taken stay short for 26 16 18 below 26 16 18 is where we are looking forward to a greater greater down move towards 26 0 to 05 levels trade accordingly let's have a look at see silver on the early charts you can find out a great bearish move is seen then retracement then again a bearish move and now it is seen taking support here and higher lows are also seen getting delivered very very important if you see now silver trading below 3140 and uh, breaking 3130 this is going to be the prime support zone if it trades below this you can say that the bears are back and we can look forward to a greater down move now this zone is going to remain very 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 important so yes you can sell here at 3140 levels and you see the higher price below 3140 you can take a selling entry but it has to be with caution as there are support levels 3130 3115 and 313 support levels any drop below 31 should lead to a stronger bearish momentum on the downside stock has taken rising here macd has crossed over trading with divergence trading bearish rsi comfortable not showing much signs here on rsi part coming to two hour charts what is happening on the two hour charts drop retracement drop again and see what is happening the preceding candle you can see uh, it is a moderately bearish candle but what has happened with the current move see it is just willing to deliver lower highs and it can in fact break here on the downside it can reverse and break here on the downside which means you have to wait for it to either break below 3140 or it has to stay above 3180 if these two levels are taken uh, either on the upside or downside you can just stay either bullish or bearish breaking beyond 3180 we can initiate a buying position expecting it to move towards 32 or 32 uh, 20 or 30 levels as well see the move here rise retracement rise retracement where are the lows here just connect this uh, the lows here are towards 31 30 levels so till 31 20 30 we have to be at least careful on the downside and on the upside till 32 we have to be watchful as well the stock has taken already at bottom the macd has crossed over here slight bearish sign drop retracement a cross over here can lead to further bearish momentum rsi is flat not showing much indication coming to 3 now on the 3 hour charts higher lows are seen lower highs are seen let it come out of this zone and uh, yes as long as it stays in the zone we have to be watchful careful alert what it can do here is three bearish candle it can start with the retracement part but i will say uh, it is still not to be treated bullish as long as it stays below 32 dollar levels now see the move here what has happened one single bullish candle it has already raised all the gains from this candle and right now it is just staying in the box here and neither willing to break out out of this greener candle so top part and or nor willing to break below the lower part of this candle so it has to come out of this zone in order to take a direction moving averages have certainly converged and these are on the verge of a crossover on the 3 hour charts this crossover can confirm bearishness for the near future stock i think here is all oversold double bottom this could lead to a recovery but it is not always the case it can sustain here for a while before reversing magdi on the verge of a crossover for sell 
RSI almost flat on the four on the four hour charts here. Uh, see the flat base, very very critical support, and this is why also I say. 3140 3130 is going to remain one prime support if it breaches this zone just stay short we are looking forward to 3115 31 breaking below 31 there is no looking back 20 uh sorry 3080 3070 first target zone 3040 3050 the next while on the upside now if it breaches beyond 32 is where the bulls are waiting else as long as it stays below 32 we have to be cautious here with the buys the stock has has dropped. The MACD is on the verge of a crossover for sell. RSI has dropped as well. Coming to day on the daily charts, look at the formation here. Red, green, red, green, red, green. And see two green candles here. This appears to be part of reversal. Also, second thing is uh, it has taken the support from the 20 period moving average, which is definitely very, very important zone. $31 levels are going to remain prime support. And the third thing is, as long as it is respect the higher lows, we have to be careful. Means today it has to break below 31 in order to confirm the bearishness here. Because once it breaches below 31, we can look forward to a greater down move here. This slide can be stronger. At the same time, one must not forget that see last four to five candles, prices have failed to close above 32. And the zone here at 3180 to 32 is going to remain critical. If it breaches here, see what has happened. Look at the last four spikes here. All moving towards 3220, 3230, reversing. So we have to be careful till then. Now, see, uh, if you look at the stock, I think this is rising. The MACD has crossed over here at the top. This is a bearish sign. This time it can lead to a reversal. Again, wa be watchful. The crossover here is very, very important. It can continue here on the downside. RSI has dropped. So looking at buy at 3180. Expect $32 levels at the first target, $32.20, 30 at the second. And beyond that, sky is the limit. If it breaches the zone, we are looking forward to $32.80, $33 levels at the next targets. But till $32.20, 30, do not trade silver as bullish. That is also very, very, very clear. What has happened yesterday can replicate again. On the downside, I will recommend a selling entry at $31.40. When you see the higher price below $31.40, take a selling entry. Below $31.40 this time. We are looking forward to a move towards 31, 15, 20 and then 31. Any drop below 31 is a clear sign of the bears taking over and then we can look forward to a move 30, uh, 75, 80 or in fact 30, 40, 50 as well. Take your trades accordingly. Like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship batch and signals channel. Do not miss to watch every day the first update with the Asia and Europe session. Do like, share and comment. Thank you. Have a great profitable trading day. See you again tomorrow before the Asia and Europe session.